Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 664. I'm Kristen Amdahl, and we are live here in tropical Southwest Florida in my backyard. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Hi, Val. Hi, Lisa. Good morning, Grace, Harvicia, Mary Anna, Dawn, Judy, Thea. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully, I didn't miss anybody. Hi, Grace. Hi, Rita. Good morning. Hi, Pamela. Good morning, Melissa. Welcome back to the Create, Share, Inspire podcast, everyone. Hi, Thea. What day is Thursday? Happy Thursday. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Everyone off to a smooth start. Hi, Lisa and Judy, Rita, Christine. Good morning. Hi, Thea. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Joyce. Happy Thursday, Lisa. Thank you. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kim. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Amritha. Good morning. Hi, Trina. Good morning. Hi, Joe. Hi, Constance. Thank you, Pamela. I am wearing the Demi Crochet Sleeve Crochet on Fabric pattern, and I've paired it, I've sewn it onto one of my Amazon dresses. This is in Be So Fine yarn, and I just kind of matched the color of yarn with the dress that I chose. The dress comes in tons of colors and prints, and with all the different colors of yarn that I carry, um, you could find something that either matches really well, or you could pick up on one of the colors in the print, or you could always go with any type of complementary or contrast color based on the dress that you buy by using color theory and a color wheel. Um, this pattern's available in my shop, and so are the earrings. This is the Alicia crochet earring pattern, which is super fun with uh, crochet chains to make the fringe. It's tiered fringe, uh, super fun to do. And anytime you make fringe without cutting yarn, you have a product that really lasts a long time, which I love. Um, Judy is, thank you, Judy. Judy's posting links in the live chat right now for where you can find the dress and for the uh, uh, demi sleeve pattern and for the Alicia earring pattern. I'll stand up so you can see this dress. This dress is different than the dress that I've worn. I've worn a couple varieties of dresses this week. This one's more of a fit and flare top or fit and flare shape. So it's, you can see it's tank top style at the top, which is totally fine for covering your bra straps. It's not one of those tops that you have to wear a funky bra or do something weird with it. And it has a sewn waistband here. And what I find is that, especially with these stretchy t-shirt knit uh, dresses, they can get really loose and baggy and lose their shape easily if they don't have some structure to them. So I have to say, having the side seams and the waist seam, I feel like it gives some structure and really helps to separate the bust, waist, and hip section well, which I think is very figure flattering. And then it has a bit of a flared skirt, and you can see that it comes just above my knee. I'm five foot nine, so you can use that as your guide. And this dress is a size large. Now, I bought this dress when I was thinner, um, so I suppose I could be anywhere between a large and an extra large right now. Um, five foot nine and 188 pounds. <laughs> but I have to say, I've lost five pounds this week. Um, a girlfriend, one of my best friends is uh, doing keto right now and she's been losing weight left and right. And so I thought, well, it's worth trying. So I've been um, attempting a keto diet for almost a week now and I've lost almost a pound a day, which is kind of crazy. Um, I, I don't know if there, I don't know if that's what's happening or not, but I haven't been able to lose weight for a very long time, as you know. And so I've gone from 193 to 188 this week. And although I have a long way to go, um, that's kind of exciting. It's nice to get out of the 190s, I gotta tell you. Um, that's a scary number. I remember when I was nine months pregnant with Marlon, I was, uh, I the day before I gave birth to him, I think the conversion from kilos to pounds was 205 so I'm really too close to my nine-month pregnant weight um, anyway 
Uh, Thea, yeah, it could be water weight from inflammation. If uh, losing inflammation is good. I've lost bloat in my belly for sure. My belly feels um, definitely uh, not as bloated, so that's good. Um, and you know, I'm just so open-minded about trying different things. Do I think any one thing is right for everybody? No. Do I think any one diet is right for the rest of your life? No. <laughs> Maybe vegan, I don't know. Um, but all I'm mentioning is that I think this is a little tight in my bust and I could probably go with an extra large. So if you're my current weight, you might want to consider a large to extra large based on how this looks on me. I don't think it looks bad, but I do feel like I've been wearing things a little looser than this lately. So I just wanted to point that out. And if you are taller, shorter, heavier, thinner, I just think it's really helpful to get a baseline of my height and weight with what size I'm wearing to help you understand how, how long something would be on you. And the other thing about dresses selling, uh, buying on Amazon that I like is there, are, especially with the dresses that I've found so far, is they have a ton of reviews on there. Um, and reading those reviews, a lot of the ladies on there have said what height what weight they are and what size they bought. And I find that to be so incredibly helpful in picking my size. So if you, any of the dresses that I share with you that I buy, when you go to that link, you can read those reviews as well. And I think it'll really help you to pick what size you would want to wear. Um, oh, I think lots of people are sharing diet advice. Well, uh, oh, Diane lost 70 years, 70, 70 years, 70 pounds last year. That's wonderful. I'm happy for you. Yeah, and like I said, there's different things for different people. Everybody has their own unique needs. So um, not trying to give anybody medical advice, just sharing what I've been doing. That's all. Um, does anybody have any questions about the patterns that I've shared so far? These are both done in Be So Fine yarn, by the way. Yes, Diane, eliminating sugar is probably good for everybody. I agree. Or minimizing it as much as possible too. Kim lost 60 pounds in a year. That's amazing. Good for you. Yeah, not everything's for everybody, Christine. I agree. Good morning, Carmen. Thanks for joining live. So I'll wait a second to see if there's any more questions about what I'm wearing. Oh, I can tell you which I'm, I remember how I mentioned that these glasses come in a five pack and there's different prints. I should bring all of them out one morning so you can see all five, but I, I've always said that the tortoise shell comes in two varieties. This is the darker of the two tortoise shells. So it's black frame. These, this part is black frame and this part is tortoise shell. The other lighter pair is tortoise shell for the whole frame. And then there's the clear acrylic frame, the clear blue tinted clear uh, frame, and then the solid black frame. And I don't know, it's just been fun to wear a different pair every day. I like doing that. Or based on which ones I find. <laughs> So I'll just wait a second here before I move on to what else I wanted to talk about. I've got lots of fun things to tell you today. Hi, oh, thanks, Judy. Thanks for the link. Okay, so first of all, you if you were on the wait list, you got an email from me yesterday, or you may have checked out that I posted a link in the video description this morning. Uh, I have a new crochet toolkit in stock on my website and I have lots of fun things to show you that are in here. So first of all, the bag is a lot bigger than the uh, first kit. This bag is much bigger. The first bag was like that big. So even if you wanted to use the bag that's coming with this as a project bag, it would fit a lot in here. It's got this tab on the side so you could attach it to another bag and it has a zipper on the top, but it's sheer and mesh so you can definitely see what's in inside um, and then I'm going to show you all the goodies that come in here so I put um, the stitch marker kit in here again this is such an incredible tool to have on hand especially with all the different colors whether you knit or crochet having different colored stitch markers is huge to be able to mark different things in a round or a row 
The beginning and end of a round should be a different color than the repeat color. Otherwise, you could forget which is a repeat and which is the end of the round. So lots of reasons to always have these on hand. Then I also included this awesome ruler gauge, or gauge ruler. Not only does it have inches and centimeters on it, and you could use it just as a regular ruler, but if you're looking to measure a four by four inch or a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter gauge swatch, this is foolproof. You take your swatch or your bigger, gar bigger swatch, whatever, and you place this over it, and you simply count how many stitches wide and how many stitches long. And that will tell you your gauge every single time. So if you're having trouble measuring things, this makes it so, so, so easy. So this is a great tool to always have handy as well. Then put another, uh, I put a, the stitch mark or the tape measure in there, which we could all use as many uh, um tape measures as possible, right? And this one goes to 60 inches and it has inches and centimeters on it. Then uh, instead of one yarn needle, I added two yarn needles to this kit. So you get twice as many yarn needles as the last kit, which again, we could all use about 30 of these, right? And that awesome yarn threader. This tool will thread yarn through a yarn needle on the larger hook size, but on this smaller hook size, you can also thread sewing, sewing thread into a sewing needle, which is the tiny stuff, which is the hard stuff for people without glasses, and even hard for some of us when we wear glasses. So this yarn threader is a lifesaver, and we could probably use a bunch of those all over our craft room and our project bags, but you're getting another one in this kit as well. I just love it so much. I, I am including a different pair of scissors this time. I thought these were just adorable. Instead of having that case that goes over the uh, sharp end, to the point protector, this one protects itself. We have three positions. This is closed, this is half open, and this is all the way open. How cute are those? <laughs> and they're nice and sharp. And then when you're ready to close them, you put them in the halfway position and then you slide it back in. So points are protected uh, and anything that you put in the mirror, it won't, uh, won't touch the points, won't touch your yarn. They won't touch your project bag, nothing. And bright pink, so you can see them clearly. And there are little holes on each side. So if you even wanted to attach them, you could make a crochet chain and attach it on this side and then attach it to a bag so that your scissors don't disappear. I don't know about you, but my scissors always disappear too. What is it about craft supplies? I don't know. Then I am so excited to show you this one. And uh, I gotta tell you, I love doing my nails, as you know, I didn't even do them yesterday. I still need to do them today. Um, so that's one day without without nail polish. You know that's weird for me. Um, but I did get uh, these in, so I'm so excited to finally have a branded Create, Share, Inspire nail file. And it's a really beautiful medium grit that's perfect for natural nails. And I gotta say, as knitters and crocheters, or even sewers, those of us that work with fabric, you can't have a snagged nail while you're working with your hands, right? Uh, it's, it can damage your yarn. It can damage your projects. It can damage your fabric. So honestly, you could use a nail file in every project bag. And for that matter, for those of us that like having our nails groomed at all times, having one in the car, one on your bedside table, one in your office, I literally keep nail files in every working room of my house. So for me, I, I thought that this was a really important tool to add to a toolkit. And you can see on one side, it says Create, Share, Inspire. Then on the other side, it has my logo. And this is a daisy print that I hand drew and then created this graphic design and then created the gradient in opposites for both sides. So this one is the blue daisy with white lines and this is white daisy with blue lines. So it matches, but is just the inverse color on both sides. And with the curve in the nail file, it's really great for getting the edges to keep really nice smooth edges. So I think that this is a super important tool to keep in your project bag. So I'm very happy to be sharing this. And it comes in a plastic bag 
that's resealable. So if you're worried about even the texture of this touching your yarn or your projects, that's safe as well. And then saving the best for last, we have 12 crochet hooks in this kit. So there are more crochet hooks than last time too, and bigger sizes. So the two bigger sizes that we're doing this time, so we, uh, we took out one of the smallest sizes, I think the two millimeter size, but start at 2.75 a C hook. So we started a C hook and we're going all the way through an N hook 10 millimeters. So we've got eight, nine, and 10 for the larger sizes. Now, which if you're into chain plying or doing the tripling of Be So Baby yarn, those larger sizes are awesome, as you know. And for the middle sizes, the G, the H, the I, who doesn't need an extra set of crochet hooks, right? I could use 10 of each size and still always be scrambling for what size I need. So not only do you get a if you've already purchased the first kit, not only do you already get a duplicate of the main sizes that we use all the time, but now you get extra sizes that we didn't have in the first kit. So super excited about that. And for anybody who hasn't gotten this kit before, you'll see in the comments here how many people absolutely love these hooks and have really enjoyed using them. So thank you for your feedback. You giving your testimonial is so helpful for those people that are curious about things that they see on the internet, right? It's so helpful when you can get reviews and testimonials from other customers. Like we were saying with picking out dresses on Amazon, that's helpful for all of us. So I'm saying thank you to you for sharing your testimonial because you help other people determine whether or not this set is good for them. So thank you. Oh, Grace. Um, Grace says it's her favorite hooks. Thank you. Can you order items and toolkit individually? A couple of items you can order individually right now, and that may change over time, but at the moment, you can order the gauge ruler individually, and you can also order the nail file individually. Seriously, like I said, I could have 10 of these, right? One for each room in the house, each room that I work in, in the car, in my purse, in each project bag. I could use one of these anywhere. So I have these sell selling individually, and um, you can buy this individually and then the rest of the items are exclusive to the kit at this time so again it comes with this giant project bag or, or it's a storage bag for the kit and it will come all included but you could also double up and use this as a project bag comes with 12 crochet hooks from sizes c through n the and if you go to the prod, product page on my website it'll list itemized however many uh, no, the first kit is sold out, Becky. So it'll list exactly which hook sizes are included here. And then, so it's 12 crochet hooks, a nail file, the gauge ruler, the scissors, two yarn needles, and the yarn and thread threader, stitch markers, Oh, and these are split ring stitch markers too. So they're great for knitting and crochet or any other thing that you need to uh, mark something with. Because, let me show you, instead of the fixed ring ones, these open and close, they snap open and snap close very easily. So it makes it great for any crafter, not just knitters. I know some of them are really only exclusive to knitting and I've always been a huge fan of this type because I want universal tools, things that work for everything. And with the color coding, I just think they're just fabulous. I think everybody should have these. And the uh, tape measure. Yes, and if the whole kit, obviously there's more in this kit, so it is going to cost more than the first kit. The price of the kit is $25.99. But this week only, we are going to, it's on sale for $22.99, so if you want to get it now, that is a huge deal. That is a ton of tools for $22.99. So if you want it now, you can uh, get it on sale, and then starting next week, it'll just go back to the regular price of $25.99, which is still a good deal, though. Um, hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining live. Does anybody have any questions about what I showed or want to see uh, anything up close? I think I showed everything up close, but if I missed something, let me know. Again, live, and I'm human, I make mistakes, so I'm always open to for suggestions. So if you need to see anything else or ask me anything, go for it. 
I'm listening. I didn't bring a drink out here this morning. Oh, well, I'll live. <laughs> Thank God I have my fan. I don't know how I did this without my fan. Oh, it wasn't summer when I didn't have my fan. That's how I did it before. <laughs> Where can you find the sleeve pattern, Sharon wants to know. Are the sleeves a one skein pattern, Wendy wants to know. Great questions, guys. The sleeves can be done in a tidbit of Be So Fine yarn, which is the miniature one-third ball size, and you can find that in my yarn shop on my website. Uh, and the sleeves are, what was the other question? Oh, where's the sleeve pattern? The sleeve pattern is in my crochet pattern shop on my website, and I have linked in the video description and in the comments the link to the demi sleeve pattern. And Judy has also posted a live link to a link to it in the live chat here this morning as well. And when you go to the pattern page, it will tell you exactly how much yarn you need and what hook size and all that stuff. And it will also tell you where the tutorial video is so that you can. Um, Watch that for extra support for the pattern. Thanks, Lisa. You made the sleeves too. Yeah, I, I would love them on so many things, but yes, I, I love these sleeves. They're so cute. And I've had questions over the years of, I wanna make the sleeves longer. And the short answer to that is because these sleeves already have a lot of fullness to them, if you wanted to make them longer, you would repeat the last, simply just repeat the last row, no more shaping, no more increasing, just repeat that last row. And you could actually make these as long as you wanted then. They could be definitely modified to be longer sleeves, which is great because if you want to modify something, not everything is easy to modify. So um, do I suggest any hand exercises for crocheters? I think hand massage is wonderful for people that work with their hands. Um, self massage with your hands is, I like to massage my fingers like by doing stuff like this and massaging my thumb joint like that. I think using some nice natural lotion and massaging your fingers is a great way to um, keep everything moving smoothly. I think that if you're ever feeling any pain, you should always take breaks, just like with any physical activity. Sometimes you can get tired and that's okay if your hands get tired. Another thing that I like to do is shake my hands out because I feel like um, it helps bring circulation back to my hands. So if I feel like they've been sitting in a down position too long, I lift them up and shake them out like this and I just feel the blood flows a lot better then. But these are things that work for me. Um, if you really think you have an issue with your hands, I would definitely check with your doctor as well. But these are things that have worked for me over the years because I do long hours of knitting and crocheting. Um, and if I do feel pain, those are some of the things that I do. I either take a break or um, self-massage or shake them out. You're welcome, Sharon. Thank you, Deborah. Becky, will you bring the small kit back? Uh, I don't know what I plan on doing in the future with the tool kit. Um, I think that this kit is a great um, second kit from the first one. Um, I haven't thought about what I'm going to do after the second kit. Just to be honest, Joyce likes my healing balm. Me too. The essential oils in that healing balm are just out of this world. So great for, um, for topical pain relief with your hands too. Hi, Louis. Good morning. Christine loves the video. Oh, I think she might mean for the demi sleeves. Yeah, anytime I can add a video to a pattern, I just feel like it helps everybody so much. Everybody learns in different ways. Do I still have my sugar scrub? It should still be there, Lisa. If it's not, let Judy or me know after the um, after the show. I, but I think I still have some healing balm and sugar scrub in my shop. I think I do. And when they're gone, they're gone. I will not be continuing the, uh, the body products after these are gone. So they're all on sale. And if you want to get them before they're gone, um, please do. They're wonderful. They're all handmade. And I've been studying aromatherapy for years. I've really made some wonderful products. Um, I just I don't have enough time. There's just not enough time in the day to make everything that I want to make. So um, when they are gone, they will be gone for good. They are going to be discontinued. So anything that you want that's in the beauty shop, 
grab it before it's gone. And like I said, they're all on sale too. Yes, Wendy, um, Daisy, how can you contact me? Yes, there's email contact and contact button on my website. And you can also contact customer service, Judy, J-U-D-I at kristinomdahl.com. Yes, yeah, but Wendy, yes, videos are so great for supplemental, um, for supplemental learning techniques to go along with patterns because patterns are usually written by word, which can be very lofty when you are trying to learn something new. It's almost like a different language, right? And then adding charts to that is definitely helpful because then you get the both styles of learning, right? That visual and the written, but then to see uh, a video and to be able to put it all together to see someone else's hands doing what those written instructions say and what that chart shows so like what I visualize when I'm making a pattern is that someone listens to me say the words that are because I all I try really hard to actually say what I'm doing in the same style that is written in the line by line instructions which helps you to understand the new language the new technical let's call it a technical language so when you hear it as you're watching a pair of hands do it, it gives you a connection between what is written and what is shown. And then when I set it down at the end of each row and round, you can see that it's anatomically correct to the chart. And this is more, this, is, this applies more to crochet than knitting. Knitting, um, you can't always set your work down and see it right away because it's still on the needle. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But uh, in crochet especially, when I set my work down in a video at the end of each round and I say this is what your work should look like at the end of round four, it is so that you can do the same thing. And when you set your work down and look at the chart in the written instructions, you can say, hey, that looks similar. So they all three tie together so well and um, that's why it's so important to me to give all of those options and when applicable doing a detailed photo tutorial sometimes helps too especially with assembly like with the cosmo bag remember when we did the square motifs but turned them on the diagonal and then had to fold them to create the shape that's quite a concept if you've never done that before so really dragged that out in the video and like if you knew what was going what you were doing it was seemed very repetitive when i made that video but it was intentionally so that anybody that was trying to grasp the concept for the first time could really get walked through it so you know it's x you know i just feel like it's it's important stuff if, if you want to really teach people it's important to pay attention to all of those components to uh Okay, Lisa. So she had never done that before, that kind of construction method that we did for um, the Cosmo bag. So I'm sure that that was really helpful to do it so slow. Do I pick the fibers for my yarns? Yes, I pick everything for all of my products. I do all the research and development for all of the products that I sell. Yes, absolutely. Oh, and I have a quick side note about the fabrics yesterday. Remember we were talking about my new fabric collection in my spoon flower shop? the um, Tropical Nights collection, which I'm so excited about. Can't wait to start making things. Now, someone came up with a great question for me yesterday after the show, and I realized I hadn't mentioned it during the show, and I don't have a prop to show you, but I will in a couple of days. In the meantime, what I wanted to tell you is, someone said, what kind of fabric is it? Here's the thing that makes spoon flower so amazing and so different from Remember when I did Day of the Dragonfly collection for uh, that quilting fabric company? The fabrics were all 100% cotton, great quilting fabrics. But when I stopped doing that and moved over to Spoonflower, where you can find the Day of the Dragonfly collection there now as well, you can find that collection as well as Tropical Nights collection and some other prints as well. Here's the beauty of Spoonflower. You can get these prints on any fabric. And they have over a dozen fabrics to choose from. They have really beautiful 100% cottons for doing quilting. They have silk, they have silk, they have chiffon, they have gauze, they have canvas, they have linen, they have uh, fleece. 
they have something called minky, which I think would make an amazing lounging robe. Anyway, uh, they have so many different fabrics. And so what I did yesterday is after the fact, that blog post that I shared with you yesterday where I introduced my Tropical Nights collection, I also made a list there that tells you all the different fabrics that it comes in. So whether you want to make a canvas tote bag or you want to make uh, a cotton quilt or you want to make a chiffon dress, like, oh my God, I don't even, I, I definitely want to make dresses with this fat, with one of these prints. Let me see, I think the first print that I want to make a sundress in is, oh, and they have jersey knit for doing wrap dresses. They have different lycra materials for doing sportswear, leggings, sports bras, and they have uh, a fabric for making ba uh, bathing suits too. This print here is what I would like to do in a sundress. And then I think, you remember my dream, right? Do you remember my dream many years ago from the movie You've Got Mail? Remember I told, told this story where Meg Ryan wore a dress and then a, it, Meg Ryan wore a dress and then a matching knitter crochet shrug over the top. I've been dreaming of sewing dresses in my fabric designs and then coordinating the yarn for the matching coordinating shrug. So picking one of these to do, um, picking one of these prints to do a dress and then picking one of my yarns to coordinate for a shrug. I can't wait to be able to do that. Uh, Christine, I have better sized gloves, that's all. Um, sometimes my gloves are better than others and occasionally I buy gloves too big. I have very small hands which sucks as a piano player, uh, but um, I, if I buy the wrong size glove, uh, I sometimes get dye on my hands. Yeah, Grace, isn't that amazing? You can do, th the list of fabrics is incredible, and I ordered a sample of all of them, and it's gonna come in a little like swatch book or like a color card, but a fabric card, and I uh, will be sharing, it's already shipped, so as soon as it gets here, I will definitely show it to you one morning. Yeah, absolutely, we can do crochet on fabric with the uh, fabrics and my yarns too. So there's lots to figure out and um, I'm simply just launching the fabric this week, but definitely expect to see more combinations of combining sewing and fabrics and yarns in the future because it's always been my dream to do something like that. I also, I use my scrub all the time, Christine. I use my scrub on my whole body, but yes, it does work for um, dye, ink and dye issues on your hands. I use my scrub on my lips. I love a sugar scrub on my lips. I think it's amazing. Uh, love it on my whole body. I keep one in the shower and usually do my sugar scrub full body in the shower because it's easy to clean off then. Yes, there are fabrics to do leggings as well, Lisa. You could make your own leggings. Leggings would not be difficult to make. The only issue is figuring out which fabrics are, are okay for regular machines and which fabrics actually need a serger. Um, so that's something to consider with some of the stretchier fabrics. And it depends on your skill level and the type of machine you have. But that's for another, that's for another day. We can discuss that another day. In the meantime, I just wanna say thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the unveiling of the new and bigger crochet hook and tool kit. Uh, I hope you're excited about all the fabric choices with Spoonflower, and I apologize for forgetting to mention that yesterday. It's a big deal. Uh, it's a really big deal. It just, it's kind of mind-blowing, actually. Anyway, um, if you have any questions beyond what we talked about today, always feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And if you want links to anything we talked about today, you can find those in the video description as well as the comments, including everything that I'm wearing and everything that I talked about. If you, um, what else? If you like the podcast, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell button so you can be notified every time I go live and have a new and exciting video premiering. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.